Today we're going to walk through a quick integration video around how Genesis Cloud integrates to Salesforce.com. As you can see on my screen, I'm logged into Salesforce. And in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see an option that says On Queue. This is Genesis Cloud embedded in Salesforce.com using the embeddable framework from Genesis Cloud. Let's take a quick tour of what an agent can use in the embeddable framework. First off, you'll notice call controls. So the ability to pick up or receive or accept phone calls, chats, other interaction types, which we'll show in the video. The same functions and features and call controls that you would have in the Genesis Cloud UI can be used inside the embeddable framework. I have a couple of drop down menus and the one on the top right is the ability to see where I'm logged in, what phone am I using, do I need to change my phone, the ability to see what is my current status, and as you'll notice, the Genesis Cloud Workforce Management is also being integrated as well because I see notifications that I'm out of adherence, that I am really scheduled for a break. And so if I've changed myself or changed my status appropriately, I will see that I'm no longer considered out of adherence. Now the interactions is the top workspace and we'll be using that one for most of the demo. There's an interaction log where call records or records from any interaction can be inserted into Salesforce. Agents have the ability to create quick outbound interactions. So I could, as an agent, create a quick outbound call, send an email or an SMS text to any of our customers. As the day progresses, I could take a look at my performance look at my KPIs across the different media channels that we're supporting. Go to my user inbox to see notifications around voicemails, quality management evaluations, and even notifications around my schedule. And speaking of schedule, the workforce management schedule is available to be viewed inside of the embeddable framework as well. So as an agent, I can see here, when is my meal coming up or my break or how long am I working today? Uh, in addition to when does my shift start tomorrow or any other day that's been scheduled for me. Okay, so now let's put this integration into action. As an agent, I'm going to go on queue to start my day. And we now see the interactions coming to me. I'm going to go ahead and accept that interaction by clicking on the pickup button. We see that this call came through the member services queue, the phone number of the customer, and the duration of the call. Also, we notice a screen pop has happened. So I've received a screen pop of case 4307, and it related to a customer of ours, Brent Taylor. Now what Brent has done is walk through the IVR and indicated that he wanted to talk to someone in regards to this specific case, 4307. Therefore, that actual case popped at the agent's desktop. Because this integration is configurable, we can certainly have other use cases. The integration can pop just about any screen in Salesforce, even custom made screens. As I mentioned earlier, I have the ability to control that call using the call control features. So once again, I could transfer this to a different person or to a different queue, whether it's a blind transfer or a consult transfer, they're both supported in here. And by opening up the interaction log, an agent can actually relay some extra comments or notes about this phone call and have them actually stored inside of the Salesforce record that will be created. I'll just simply say an agent can type in some notes here. And when this call is disconnected, they will be prompted to select a wrap up code. And we can see that that interaction has now been disconnected. Subsequently, when someone comes back into this case, they will be able to see that the customer has called in again 
They can open up the record that was automatically inserted. See those notes or comments that the agent typed in through the embeddable framework, as well as see any of the other data elements that are configured as part of a mapping process between the two systems. Again, this integration is configurable so that you can make it work the best for you. But what happens when a customer wants to reach out to a contact center agent via a web chat? Well, to show that, I'm going to open up a tab on my website where a customer could go to launch a web chat. And once that chat is started, that customer could certainly start typing in there. Now, the agent in Salesforce is going to also get a screen pop. In this case, we're seeing a screen pop from that same customer, Brent Taylor. And we see that interaction appearing down in that embeddable framework. This time we can see that that is a chat interaction instead of a phone call interaction based on the icon. We'll also notice a chat bubble that's highlighted in orange. Now what this is going to do is allow the agent to enter into the chat room where they can see what the customer has typed so far. And um, in this case, I'll just say that uh, we'll start off with just hello Brent, since that's the customer's name. And the customer certainly is going to see that on their end. Now, for this example, let's just say the customer wants to make a change to some of their payment information. Um, I'll say something like, can I uh, make a change to my payment info? Or spell it all the way out. It really doesn't matter. Now, the customer, I'm sorry, the agent is going to see that. And this is where I want to bring up another possible integration. Uh, if you may be already familiar that Salesforce has their own artificial intelligence offering called Einstein, and you might want to create an integration to that. So for an example, what we've done is we've said, anytime a customer brings up a question, uh, we might want the agent to be able to surface some frequently asked question articles that pertain to that topic. So in this case, the customer said, can I make a change to my payment information? And I'll click on the little Pure Cloud Knowledge Utility tab at the bottom of the screen. And you'll see the top five results or top five articles uh, that might help the agent. And sure enough, we do see it looks like number three here, how to change payment information. So an agent can click on that link. And what is happening is that it's linked to a frequently asked question article called how to change payment info inside of Salesforce. And the idea here is that you would have all the information you need in regards to what a customer can do to make that type of a change. Uh, we don't have ours completely built out. I'm just going to grab the title here. I'll copy it. Um, and then I'll essentially go back into that chat interaction and paste that in. So whatever that information is you've configured in the frequently asked question article could be easily inserted there, making it then available quickly and seamlessly to the customer. So this chat interaction, as you can see here, is very versatile. You do have the ability to perform a screen pop. It will create a new task record inside of Salesforce logging this interaction. Uh, you will also have the ability to uh, interface with scripts if you have any configured customer details and even canned responses. Canned responses could be things like, you know, proper greetings or any other information that you want to pre-program for the agent to be able to quickly click on and grab uh, to push across to the customer in a very fast way. So that canned response there was more of a proper greeting and I can see that on the customer side. Hello, my name is Brad Forsyth, how can I help you? So this was just a quick example of what it can look like when a customer wants to send in a web chat to one of your contact center agents. Now you'll probably notice I've been looking at a Salesforce dashboard from time to time in this video. And yes, it is possible to bring Genesis Cloud data and have it displayed with Salesforce.com data. For example, in this dashboard, I see a graph around closing Salesforce cases by the month, but notice it is broken down by the origin, or think of that as the media type. So email, phone, web, uh, and chatbots. Also down here in the bottom left corner, another one kind of showing me as a, as a line chart, broken down by day. 
uh, not necessarily broken down by the media type in that example, but also other widgets on the dashboard around ACD time, IVR time, and other typical Salesforce metrics around cases currently open and closed. Well, I hope you've learned a lot from this video about the Genesis Cloud and Salesforce integration. But wait, there are a few more points I want to make. The integration also supports Salesforce's omni-channel offering by routing Salesforce web chats through Genesis Cloud to the right agent and opening a new case automatically. It also supports Salesforce's email to case offering, which does the same thing, but with emails that your customers send to you. And lastly, the integration will soon support the Service Cloud voice offering from Salesforce, a CTI solution natively integrated inside Service Cloud. That concludes this video. Thanks for joining.